Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. So I am going to be heading into Target in just a few. I just came out of Ulta. I got a few things that I needed to stock up on for my clients. Um, I do have a wedding that I'm going to be doing tomorrow in the Bay Area along with my cousin. Um, I am going to be partnering up with her. She's going to be doing the hair and I'm going to be doing the makeup as well. So. And there's a few things that I need to stock up on. And I just thought I'd let you guys um, in on a little bit of the things that I absolutely love, can't live without, and that my family really loves. So that is why I'm gonna be taking you guys to Target with me. Um, I might take you guys in the store, I might not. It'll be my first time filming in the store, so I might just chicken out and get a little shy. Um, but I definitely will show you guys and film um, everything that I purchased and maybe take a little clips of things that I I do like um, that I am not going to be purchasing that are just not necessary for me to purchase as of right now um, so if you guys are interested just keep on watching and do not forget to subscribe like and share this video thank you all right guys so I already started getting a few things in my basket um, but this is one thing I absolutely love for my son's hair he has curly hair and it's a detangler as well and it makes it smell so 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 good so this is something that I need to restock up on I love Shea Moisture brand um, they're very good for all types of skins but they do majority focus on a sensitive skin like eczema and um, irritated skin so they'll definitely help out with that so you might want to check them out I also love Target's rugs. I need to get my kids another rug for their room. Um, they had one, but it doesn't go with their room, so I need to get them another one. Oh, I don't know what color to get. Their comforter is blue, so I need to get something to go with blue, preferably gray. It's so awkward filming in a store. I don't see one that I really like. Of course, the day that I'm like, no kids and ready to purchase things, they have nothing. They have nothing that I want. This one is really cute and I like the design, but I know my son is not gonna like the design. He's gonna think it's too girly. I don't really care for the shaggy rugs. I feel like too many things get stuck in between and it's really hard to get them out. So if I'm gonna go a little shaggy, I prefer to go something like this. But I guess Target is a no-go today. But normally I really like them. Let's see what else they have. I am on the hunt for a clothing rack. Let's go see if they have one. Alrighty, I am out of Target and heading home now. Unfortunately, they did not have the clothing rack that I was looking for. Um, so I did see one online, but they I guess they don't carry it in the store. So I'll have to maybe purchase it online. Um, so I am going to show you guys what I did get. I found a few things that I was looking for, of course, on the day that I choose to film and do this for you guys. They don't have everything that I needed or wanted to show you guys. So... I'm going to head home and film everything for you guys and then I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Bye guys Okay, so I'm back and I am gonna just go over everything that I purchased from Ulta and from Target um, As you could see in the back. I have this bag that I got from Target um, It's supposed to be a laundry bag, but I preferably like it for um, just to organize stuff either in my trunk or when we travel somewhere picnic or clothes whatever it may be um, I thought that was a cool idea, and that's what I used as my bag. So that's why I don't have a target bag um, But let's start with Ulta so one thing I purposely went to Ulta for was for the um, loving tan two hour express um, self tan lotion. So um, this is something that I've been wanting to get for the longest time, but I just never went to Ulta and I purchased it. I looked online, put it in my car, and just never went through with it. But today I had time to do it since I had no kids. Um, so yeah, I wanted to try this out. And in order to do this, I purchased these at Target. They are, um, 
exfoliating gloves so that way you're supposed to exfoliate your skin the night before or the morning of if you want but just give at least a few hours in between from exfoliating and putting on the tanning um the self tanner so that way your pores close up you don't want to put the tanning lotion on and then go into your pores and you can just get you get those orange um, dots so that's what i do first and then in conjunction with the self tanner, I purchased these um, a self tanning um, applicator mint, 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 self tanning applicator mint. Oh my God, I keep saying mint. It's a mint for your hand, for you to put the pump on there and to spread it all over evenly to your skin. Um, it's definitely better to do that than to use your hand because then you're going to get your hands all orange and everything like that. And one thing I am going to try is when I put it on my hands um, to put on a kabuki brush or a big fluffy makeup brush and just brush it into my hands evenly so that way I don't get any streaks or anything like that. So let me know if you're interested in me filming a separate tutorial for this and we can definitely go over the before and after results so just make sure you comment down below if that's what you're interested in um another thing that i wanted to get was unfortunately ulta only carries the um beauty blenders the little small pink ones so um they didn't have the big one that i wanted for all over the face so i did ask the lady what she recommended um, that was something comparable to it. I really liked how the Beauty Bender Blender is really soft. So that's what I was going for. So she did recommend the Ulta Beauty one. Um, this is it. It is kind of similar to the size of the pink one that they had in stock. But $20 versus... I'm not sure how much this one was. Let me see. Versus $7. You can't beat it. So um, it did come with this little holder. Um, to put the beauty blender on um, it is super super soft so I'm excited to try it out I will try it out tomorrow morning when I do my makeup so I'll let you guys know how that was and how that goes another fun little thing that I found in their accessory area was these gold hair clips you know I need these when I am going to be doing my makeup and um, my hair is already down or already done and I just clip them in my hair to hold everything to the sides. So these I'm really excited about because they seem really, really durable. Um, I was going to buy these butterfly clips for my hair just because they were gold. They looked so cute. Um, but so like ironically um they fell out of the out of the package when i was at the register and i clipped one or i opened one up and it was super plasticky so i didn't get those so i really the gold is what caught my attention and another thing that i needed to stock up on was the mario badusco um setting spray i really love this um, facial spray it's a facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water so it is for all skin types so whether you have dry or oily skin um this is one that i like even though i start from dry and go to oily because um, I normally don't like using setting, spray, setting sprays only because I end up getting oily. So I kind of make my own little dewy look. And that's what setting spray is also for dewy and for um, just setting your makeup in. But I feel like if you put too much or if you use the wrong one, maybe if it has oil in it, that it can make your skin too oily. So I think this is like the best one I've ever, ever tried. Um, another one that I did want to try was the Morphe one, but I kept going back to this one. So that's what I'm going to stick with for right now. Uh. Hello. Hello. Hi, baby. Hi. Look at I'm filming. Uh, you are? Yeah. Okay, so... Two other things that I did pick up was a blending brush and a concealer brush. Um, I probably wouldn't use it for concealer. I'd probably use it for either shimmer right under my eyebrows. Um, but I was really excited for this one. It's just a smaller point round blending brush. Uh, let's see. 
so it's really tapered so I'm excited about to try that one now let's get into the Target stuff. So I was really excited to get these. These are um, gel eye mask. Um, it's you put them under your eyes, um, and it does help. Let's see what it says. Um, restore delicate skin around your eyes with Bella Moisturizing Gel Eye Mask. These easy. These are easy to use eye mask. Sit beneath your eyes and visibly reduce fine lines and wrinkles, and leave your eyes brightened. Brightened. And soft so I'm really excited about those I like to put these on while I do my makeup so I do have quite a few but I was really excited to get these ones um, the green caught my attention um, I did grab some lashes for my client tomorrow for the bride and I also grabbed me a new um, a true match by L'Oreal um, compact this is one that I love and I'm like scraping it so that's one thing. Now this one, and this is the thing that I was telling you guys, um, Shea Moisture that I use for my son's hair. Um, I don't like to put heavy products in his hair. It is just a detangler, but there is something in it that makes it, oh, it looks like shea, shea butter is what could cause it to get a little shinier uh, because if you think about detangler, it's going to end up drying out, but his hair always stays shiny. So I'm assuming it's the shea moisture or the shea butter that um, keeps it shiny and moist. So that's something that I really love. And I've always used shea moisture for both of my kids. Um, they do both have very light eczema um, and it's not very harsh on their skin so um and they do make a line specially for eczema i never had to use it because it wasn't that severe um but eczema, the shea moisture definitely helped keep their skin very nice and moist they do have a adult and a children's lotion however we always use the children's even for myself and for jacob it's very thick and very moist and if that's something that you like this one is super awesome for it um i don't like that the bottle is very small but i mean I guess you could say a little bit goes a long way because we used it for all four of us and it lasts um, for a pretty long time. Another thing that I needed to get was a mirror for when I do my makeup and I film um, because I do have a big mirror with lights on it, but it's it, it would get in the way if I'm filming for you guys. So this was actually in the dollar section. So um, I found this one and it was only $3. So I was excited about that one and because it's a neon pink. Another thing that I needed to get was is a power strip. Um, this one's so cute. It's purple and it was actually in the dollar section as well for $5. So that was cool. Um, I needed to get one of these because the other power strip that I have doesn't have the option for the, the third prong and this one does. So I needed this one. And I just, um, Elias needed a few more shirts. So I grabbed him two shirts and a pair of shorts. I tried to look for some stuff for Osric, but he seems to be too cool for Target clothes now. Um, at least the graphic tees. He's not interested in from there. So um, that's about it. It's super small haul. Um, like I said, unfortunately, that I have everything that I wanted to show you guys. Of course, um, there's a few things that I was looking for. I was looking for the clothing rack, but I'm going to continue looking for that. Um, so I will see you guys tomorrow morning when I am on my way to San Jose. Have a good night.
Um, if you are interested in seeing any more hauls or other things that I um, do get for the house that are my favorites, whether they are Amazon um, or anything like that, just go ahead and comment down below and let me know. Um, today was a beautiful day. The bridesmaids turned out so beautiful and of course the bride did. Um, shout out to my cousin Natalie for inviting me to do this wedding with her. I will link both of our Instagram names below if you guys are interested in booking us for future events. Um, go ahead and check her out as well. So I will see you guys next time.